Okay guys, welcome in Holland. I come back from Barcelona, Lauren's come back from New York, and look what we got. Great. I'm not gonna go in it. Go in there. No. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is Good morning from the Netherlands. First day in the Netherlands. Picked up Lawrence from the airport yesterday. Yeah. And we just had brunch with my mom here in Rotterdam. It's another city. You have Amsterdam, The Hague, Rotterdam are three big cities in the Netherlands. And yeah, it was really nice. It really, they had an avocado toast, so it felt like a New York kind of brunch place. Now we're heading to The Hague, and I think we're gonna do some shopping. And yeah. Hey guys, so we're on the, how do you call it, Dutch Beach? It's, it's called Keveningen, and it's Schevening. really windy. I'll show you guys. Lawrence is cool too. I wanted to take a picture here, but thank you. I feel like it's not summer season yet, so it doesn't really look summery. And I'm freezing. Oh, yeah. yeah, but maybe we can do something here. So we're in Holland and the baby's finally here. Lime Olivia Bernards and she's so beautiful. Lawrence is in love taking pictures 24-7. <laughs> Hello guys, so this is our last day in the Netherlands and we're stuck in traffic. That's what we don't miss from the Netherlands, being in traffic. Nope. And it's raining, so hopefully the weather is going to be great in New York. What are we going to do when we're getting back in New York? What do you think we're going to do? If you know me well, what do you think I would love to do it first thing? First day back in New York, we're going to go to a brunch place called Two Hands. We're going to get some avocado toast or Bluestone Lane. And um... First I have to work one day mm -hmm. and then I have a day off. I think we have to do a lot of unboxing. Because I think there, I got some emails that there are a lot of packages in the apartment. Yeah. So I'm gonna do some unboxing and then the next day I would love to go to Bluestone Lane. And then I think we have to pick up her step up or workout game again because you know in, when we're in Holland it's kind of hard because you want to see family, you want to do fun stuff and it always feels a little bit like a vacation break. No, for sure. Take then, a step back. We're going to Coachella. Coachella. It's probably not gonna work out there. Oh. So you always kinda have to plan it up front. That's exactly. my tip. Right? And yes. we're finally driving. This is the weather. Going back to New York after two weeks. <laughs> yeah, we stayed two weeks in the Netherlands, and now we're ready to go back to New York. It was fun. It was a lot of family time. It was good, but now we're going back to work. Guys, it's Sunday morning and we're trying to get back on track and we have a jet lag in our favor. So we're gonna go run to the dog pound. It's 7.20, we have a workout at 8 a.m. And then after we will have breakfast. Oh, where are we going? Yeah. Running is not his favorite thing, but it will be good. It's only 20 minutes. See you guys soon.
these are my new glasses and we're on our way to a meeting it's a new week we just got back into new york and then after we go to Bifol for a workout we go to ruby's cafe for dinner Foundation Awards today, so that's gonna be exciting. And Ruslan and Gil are inside. I'm now at the office, at the Victoria's Secret office. As you can see, yeah, now I'm getting ready, hair and makeup. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses. So we're getting ready, and look who I found. Ruslan Hello guys. and Gil, we're back. We're back. And since the sun is not outside, you gotta bring it in. So we're bringing it on my face with a really sun-kissed look. The hair we do one-sided today. Or how you say it, one-parted. Yeah. Just on one side. Yeah. And now I'm getting dressed with Sunny. Hey! <laughs> so we're wearing this dress. Where's it from? Derek Lamb. Derek Lamb. Yeah. That's it for now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the 2018 Fragrance Foundation Face of the Year recipient, Romy Swift. last year because I cannot remember really well well I can't remember but I was just like thinking I wanted to see the pictures again so I'm looking at my Instagram I think Instagram is like perfect for that so you can always scroll back and be like oh yeah that's what we did but it's not loading really well but yeah this was last year and I did the road trip with Jasmine to Palm Springs from LA and before I had a press day in LA with Jasmine. So yeah, it gets me excited for this year. Drones? Yeah. What's happening here? Because we do not understand. Oh 